Today we're cracking the case on film noir style pinup. So grab your badge and your hat and let's do this. This video was made possible by the very generous contributions of my supporters at Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel or my artwork, please visit me at patreon.com slash drstew underscore art. Thanks. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out my channel. This is Derek Stewart, and uh, yeah, we are back with another video all about pinup. And uh, I hope you are settled in. You are uh, safely away from floodwaters and hurricane watches and things like that. Here in Seattle, we don't have hurricanes so much as we have. Uh, we've had a problem with uh, smoke and forest fires and people generally not being responsible with their fireworks. Don't ask me why. We haven't been uh, experiencing any kind of rain in, uh, well, I guess since June. What's happening? I don't get it. Um, but anyway, hope you're settled in. Uh, I've poured myself a glass of whiskey. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, drawing a little bit of a pinup art in kind of like the style of the film noir kind of you know, detective drama kind of a thing. And uh, this one here is actually based off of an, uh, a model by the name of Claudia Bakehouse. Very nice, uh, lovely model who was very generous with her likeness. Um, and uh, we, uh, this, this is actually a, a, a drawing that I put together about, gosh, you know, I want to say about six months ago. Yeah, six months ago at this point. And I I've just been so overloaded with uh, uh, commissions, and I'm working on a kid's book right now. And so I've kind of been wearing a lot of hats, uh, moving between uh, different projects. And uh, I finally said, you know what? To the rest of the world, I just need to uh, just kind of shut down for a minute and work on a personal project. And uh, uh, some of you who follow me on Instagram or uh, Patreon, thank you for following me and supporting me there. Um, you, you might uh, have remembered that I, I or you might remember that I uh, put out to my followers um, sort of a uh, kind of a poll. I wanted to find out what of my most recent um, uh, drawings, my sketches, uh, people might be interested in having me um, uh, render out in uh, in Photoshop. And actually, in this case. Uh, we, I have foregone doing any kind of a rendering. Well, I'm going to say that loosely. Foregone, mostly foregone doing any rendering in Photoshop simply because um, I wanted to get to just get down to painting and I don't want to be overwhelmed with a bunch of options right away. Um, not That isn't to say that I'm novice at Photoshop. There's a lot I know how to do in Photoshop, which is great. But, you know, sometimes a guy just wants to get in and just start making artwork. He'd, and uh, and uh, with Sketchbook Pro, which is the one I'm, the, the program I'm using in, in, in uh, this piece, um, I'm able to do that and I'm having a good time. Um, with this one, I kind of um, shifted mid-stride. Um, ordinarily, what I'll do with a drawing is or I guess with a painting, I should say. Um, I'll go in, lay down flat colors, and then add sort of auxiliary, uh, secondary <laughs> uh, layers that I can kind of switch to multiply, um, and uh, kind of add in shadow, and then add lighting, which I can switch I switch that to screen for, for and add white and things like that for, for lighting. Um, and, and then I happened to stumble across another artist, um, on, on YouTube. Uh, he goes on, it used to be under, um, pinup.edu and now he goes under motion channel. And, uh, I don't know the guy's name. Uh, Michael Van Den Bosch. Okay, well, he's a character artist, but he's also he also does some 
fantastic pin of art. And he, he kind of does this really cool sort of, um, <clears throat> he does this kind of cool process where, where he'll lay down uh, a, uh, just some flat paint and then he'll duplicate that layer add a little bit of shadow, duplicate that layer, add a little bit of lighting, uh, and then and then he'll add some, he'll just kind of keep layering and layering and layering, and um, he ends up with some really, really cool results. And I wanted to go ahead and give that a shot with, with this one. Um, I'm not quite to that point in the video right here, but uh, there is, uh, there's something to be said for trying out some new ideas. And, um, I, I knew that with this one in particular, um, something that I love about film noir is just that 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 very visceral sort of light and dark uh, uh, chiaroscuro type of thing, um, and 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 I wanted to really try and play that up as much as possible with with as um, I, I guess as limited a palette as I possibly could, and uh, so. Part of that was kind of just establishing, you know, what what colors I wanted to play with is what what sort of freedoms I wanted to give myself as far as, you know, what I wanted to pop on the um, on the character, what I wanted to pop as far as luminosity and and um, and what kind of uh, rim light might actually be showing up, and um, you probably had just seen a, a moment ago there was a lot of kind of. Um, messing around with you know how dynamic of a color do I want to have on the on her undergarments you know do I want to go like full sort of red or kind of something uh, in the red family or or is it okay to just kind of lean back and 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 go really subtle so I, I ultimately went with more of kind of a uh, I guess kind of like a more of a purple or lavender kind of a kind of a vibe or kind of a color and um, and uh, and all, all with the intention of um, letting the lighting do most of the work in in this case. Um, so uh, <laughs> another thing I wanted to kind of talk about was um, I don't know if I if it's necessarily something that I need to file under confidence in your artwork, but um, I kind of had a funny moment this last week where. Uh, I got to a point where I felt like the, the artwork was, okay, this is great, this is done. I'm, I'm gonna show this off to, to people. And um, uh, I brought it into the studio where I work and I have a good friend there, uh, as you do. And um, I, I was like, dude, you gotta check out this artwork I've been working on. It's, it's you know, some new pinup and he knows that I, I do this and, and uh, I was feeling like really good about myself, and, and uh, I showed him this this um, this picture, and it, honestly, it was it was it's about at the it's nearly at the the spot where we're at right now, and he's like, oh, that's that's pretty cool, that's that's great, but I could sense some hesitation, and he, and he's like, but um, you know, why is her uh, her hair seems you know if you if you're wanting to critique her her hair seems a little bit high on her forehead she, she almost kind of i don't know it just doesn't it feels like you could probably adjust that i was like you know what i'm looking at it and i'm like god damn it that you're right that she's got kind of a cherub head right now <laughs> it kind of looks like a baby head I, I i don't know how i i got as far into i mean i don't know how i i passed my own test with the with the sketch and and realized that i had so much forehead happening and I, I just didn't realize it because uh, I try and make it a point to constantly turn the page, look at it from all angles, flip the image if I'm in um, Sketchbook or Photoshop, just just kind of doing a symmetry and 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 uh, just kind of a stupid check, is you know if I'm going to be um, loose with the terms. And I don't know how I missed the the hairline. It was just I mean you could see it right there. It's way too high. It looks weird. It looks like a receding hairline. I mean, people have that problem, but this particular model does not. Very, very lovely. Doesn't have the receding hairline issue. And uh, I was a little embarrassed by it. Um, I don't, I, I feel like it, somewhere in there, there's a, there's a good, um, 
uh, cautionary tale there. <laughs> but I think I, at the end of the day, what I'm just trying to say is go ahead and, and make sure you do, if you need to, come up with a list of things that, you know, obvious things. Check where the hairline is. Check where the, you know, things are balanced. Check where the lighting is coming from. Um, symmetry, asymmetry, you know, that's important. Okay, I'm kind of getting off onto a tangent with that. But I came home that night, and uh, luckily, very important part of digital art is working in layers. And luckily, I had been doing that uh, between the hair and the face and so, and, and with the line art and even organizing things in folders meticulously. And it was very simple to just, uh, sort of adjust, redraw and re reposition, um, where the hair was. And it was relatively painless, which painless is always good. <sighs> so, um, you know, sometimes I kind of feel like I, I, I might be going on a little bit too long with the dialogue. You know what? If you if you feel like I'm speaking too much in these, please go ahead and let me know. I am perfectly at ease with just like kind of cutting it out and, and you, get, you can just listen to some, um, you know, the sound of you yourself chewing or the sound of me drinking this whiskey. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's Japanese whiskey. It's good stuff. All right, we are just about to the end of this video. Um, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel, supporting me on Patreon, and uh, following me on Instagram. I will have all of the links to all of those pertinent things in the description below this video. I would absolutely love it if you check me out, and uh, even if you wanted to support me, that would be heavenly of you. Heavenly, I say. Heavenly. All right, in order we have the final image of this lovely, lovely film noir. You know. Cool. All right, thanks so much, you guys, for checking out my video, and uh, I apologize for not having one sooner. It's been it's been a busy time, but I will uh, I will come back with something new, probably about uh, my process with drawing hair. Okay, awesome. Take care of yourself and each other, to quote Jerry Springer. Wow, it's been a long time since I've heard that. I don't know where that came from. Sorry. All right, catch you guys later. Bye.